Okay, because I have a cave called Academy Crystal Cave, which is right there on the right there in the middle of the town or somewhere in that town. So I'm gonna drop my sign here at the castle gate or whatever, the one we're at right now. And then I'll take you there, and then you can take me to yours, and then we'll have both of them on there. We can do them, and then we can explore this entire middle region. I have that. The round and catacomb. I don't have that. Okay, that was the one I found that was by the, the Golden Creek. Yeah, and I have the Academy Crystal Lake, which is right by that town. Right. So we'll be running into that soon enough. Wait, tree. You mean the one that's up top of the map? So the one that we went to that's by the, uh... What is it called? The, uh... Converted Tower? Uh, oh, oh, okay, because, yeah, I I have the Converted Tower, and I see the Minor Ur Tree where we fought that boss. I yeah. guess I just didn't explore that area enough, because further past that is another bonfire in another area called the Four Belfries. It's a total different section, but I, I have a... If you go further from the Ur Tree on the spot where it's brown, you'll see that there's another bonfire. You probably don't have it yet. And then further up past that is a... what looks like a castle. The tree, yes. I believe we have. So right next to it, the road and catacombs cave. Okay, yeah, I just missed it then. Because I don't have it. But I, I have the converted tower, the tree, and what's past it. So we can go and get you the Academy Crystal Cave. We can explore this as we go. I'm being summoned. <laughs> It means a lot to me, though. I don't like it. I don't like when you... No, I'm not wasting it. I don't ever want you to feel guilty if you don't. Well, I feel guilty regardless. Do you? Yes. There's no reason. So please, please. My mic is live. Oh, okay. Can we not do this here? Thank you. Love you. 
Love you too. <sighs> God, no. My parents made me food. I'm eating it. I don't like sitting here having them fight me because they made food and I don't like to say no to things. I never say no to people. What did it, why? What did it make? Hold on while I get my breath. Walking downstairs really drained my energy. Ribs and corn. And, and tuna macaroni. Uh, ribs by itself. Ribs by itself is good. Ribs and corn is not really a great combo. Ribs, corn, and macaroni is not a great combo. Ribs and macaroni is fine. Corn and macaroni is fine. Ribs by himself. I'm just not a fan of ribs and corn. Like I love corn and I love ribs, but I don't think they're good together. Oh, nice. And my biggest problem with ribs is my hands get greasy and dirty, and I don't like touching all the food. I don't like touching all the sauce that's on it. I don't like the I don't like two foods mixing. Like I don't like sauce from another food touching my food. So my corn is on a separate plate. My ribs are on a separate plate. Like if I were to have fries too, I would have a bowl or a plate for the fries and a bowl for the ketchup. Yes, because I don't like ketchup lathering my fries either. Because I don't want... I don't like food saturating. No, it's corn on the cob. I hate corn by itself. Like, it's ironic. I like corn on the cob, but I don't like corn. I don't like eating bits of corn. Are you ready to fight Jiren? Jiren? Take a good look at Jiren from Dragon Ball Super and take a good look at these guys. Big, gray, ugly, black bug eyes. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> it's fucking Jiren's. Ow. Oh my god. They are freaking cartwheeling me. I forgot how bad... I forgot that these guys are like the bone wheels of this game. They are deadly. If you're not careful. I know. And they're fat, just like him. Kinda. He, he's more muscle, but he's got that fat muscle. I don't know, every time I see him, it just makes me... He he looks just... Ugh. I don't know why, but this kind of makes me in that one area of Resident Evil 4. No, 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 not 4, uh... Resident Evil Village. Where you fight that fish guy. Oh, yeah, in his... In his area, you mean? Yeah. Kinda does, doesn't it? Now, I was about to ask, is this game shit like in Dark Souls 1 where we like drain the lake a little bit? No. No. No, but I do like that though. I did like that from um from Dark Souls. Like they have some cool things where they don't do them again. I really like that because oh. that area had some very bad limitations for the fact that it was, you know small and no bonfire so i like when they did that they added a couple layers to go down yeah with the with the, with the water draining i really enjoy what dark souls's limitations brought upon it because it was so limited because you can only you're you're going most of the dark souls games they expand upon like exploring but with dark souls's limitations they had to sit there and try to make it same with demon souls they had to sit there and make it like Oh, we got areas that go down. We got things that go around. Like with that one Latria level where we were going down in the cages and then we went back up. Like, I really like... I really like verticality when it's done good. Yeah, this area... I remember when I was playing this by myself, I was all over the place in this area. I was on the rooftops and shit. I hear a... I hear a dung beetle. Sekiro. Yeah, this would be better with it. I do wonder. I'm curious. 
I know there's a giant crab. I just... Not really. Uh, you gonna be a problem there, bud? No. Because you don't even know how to fucking hit me. Drunk ass crab. Are you, you little? He's around here. I hear it, ish. Barely, but I do. Eh? Eh? No. He's over here. He's probably up there somewhere. He's probably up above somewhere on the roofing or something because he's in this general... Oh, no! Irving! Look up! He's on... He's... Yes, he's right there on the roof of this archway. I can't lock on it, but can you... Ah, uh, yeah, I can't. Unfortunately, yeah, you're gonna have to freehand aim that. Or bow and arrow it. That'd be a lot easier. Just make sure it's not the crossbow. Do I have a bow? Short bow will work. Anything that's not a crossbow. So short bow, long bow, whatever. Now you just need arrows, if you don't have it. Yeah, you probably need to equip arrows. And it don't matter which arrows. It could be arrows, fire arrows, serpent arrow, whatever. As long as they're not heavy bolts. And you can free aim it, so. Just take your time. Uh, give me a sec. I gotta check that now myself. Ah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, give me a second. No! I'm crouching! Oh, go! I was very unprepared. No, he's here. I got him. <sighs> yeah, you basically just hold the trigger button. And it would give you crosshairs and then you would let go to shoot it hi yeah i was unprepared for that that was sneaky though can't be hidden up there okay fine they are good for yeah, FromSoft is good at putting spot uh, things in places. All right, over here I found some stairs leading up to a f barricaded area. That's what it looks like. Before we do that, I just want to search some of this open water because I don't know what else is here. I don't know where you've been in here. I've been in Stormbuck after we were done. I just went back to the beginning and looked around. Okay, so you haven't. Like, I'm at a level I'm more comfortable where it's alright. Like, the look, you're not getting total skill by the enemies. Yeah, you haven't leveled much here then. Alright, or been here much then. Alright, so I'm assuming that you probably have explored all of this with me. Because it just doesn't look like there's that much around. It is. And it all. The first time I looked around in the area, I found the, uh, the hammer that comes to the people. Not the hammer, the guy has both. Ah, yeah. Oh, the. Okay, this is where we entered, I believe. 
sort of near where we began, I believe. Because I remember fighting skeletons when we first entered here. on us. Oh. More skellies that I missed. Hmm. Yeah, fuck your AoE. What the hell? Okay, there was a second one! Oh, God! That was my fault. I thought I can survive, but he actually blew up me twice. Dick. My sign is down back at the bonfire, so. Yeah, go ahead back to the bonfire. Just give me a moment, I'm gonna walk it, so I don't want you guys to uh, respawn. Let me mark down the map. Or there shouldn't be much enemies. There's just some of those, uh, Jiren guys. Eh. They're a good grind spot, but not these ones. There's ones later on in the game. That are red. Oh shit, fuck it, giant crap. Be careful though, those Jirens, they stupid cartwheel shit, man, they are deadly in groups. Now, and I see your and I need to shave. I'm lazy I and my everything just shaved the mustache. I'm I'm lazy and my yeah I'm lazy. My facial hair is not like thick, but it's thick enough yeah. to to where I can taste my mustache. I can feel it. <laughs> it gets stubbly. And if I don't shave it before I shower, then I'm just itchy. The only thing that sucks though about my beard is if it, if it starts to get a little bit too long, it fucking becomes a uh, Shafar beard. It starts to like curl up and shit. Ah, uh, mine does that too. I'll end up playing with the corners because, well, my beard and mustache don't connect. So I like to play with the edges of my mustache. I don't have the mustache that can curl like that, but I like to play with it. And then it, like, gets to the ends of my mouth, so I taste it every time I'm eating, and it's annoying. And it's just itchy. Like, my hair is not even that thick or full. It's just, it irritates me. And then if I shave after I shower, 
which sometimes I'll shower and forget to shave, and then I'm like, well, then I'm just itchy. Joan of Jet? <laughs> Excuse me. Mm, baby crabs. I'm just trying to take us on the outer edges of this area so we can circle around. Uh oh. Oh shit. No. What the fuck? What the hell is that? That big ass plant. Oh. It's one of those giant plants. They when they stand up, they shoot magic off. I just thought it was him because that's all I heard was magic noises. Ah oh, fuck. Yeah, it's these guys, the big one, the very big plant of those things. When you get close, they stand up. I'm just running around like an idiot, so. <laughs> if only I knew this place better. I don't know why I'm jumping up here the way I am. Doesn't look like there's anything on that roof either. That's why I don't like all this shit around, because there's like nothing here. Good. 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 Good, because I want to search every damn inch of this damn area. Ah, more Jirens. <laughs> okay. Get fucked, Abenora Blood Clot. I don't... Why do I... This is such the weirdest names for items. Blood Clot. Like, I want an enemy's blood clot. How do you even get that? That's a giant crab. And that's the one that uh, came out of the ground. Ah. Well, you're dead. And now you're crab meat. Or crab eggs. One of the two. Crab eggs. If something doesn't take away my appetite, that will. These fallen buildings, man. The only thing I funny about the Kryptonite Tenchu, mm -hmm. he does like an animation of like sculpturing to uh, Elden Ring. Yeah. When he came to, when he uh, animated this area, he animated those prints that we fought a while back holding the sniper. Nice. The sniping at him. <laughs> I <laughs> that. Yeah. Okay, I take it you got this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. First thing I'm like, I ran here and grabbed the seat. Okay, then we can head in back over this way. No problem. Good, then we base. Yeah. Well, we can venture through this and then go on the outer l edges of it afterward. Let's see what we got here. Looks like some basic dudes. And fire. Ow. I did not see that guy. What is down here? Nothing. Nothing in the nooks and crannies and grannies. Nothing in your nooks and grannies. Get the fuck off me, friend. You wanna go? Uh, you know, you shooting off your stupid glintstone things at such close range is the stupidest thing ever. Try throwing those sooner, you dumbass. Huh. Okay. That led to an M Oh, the hand crone. Yeah.
finger her crone hole. Creepy lady. Indeed. All right. Okay, what do we got in these nooks and crannies? Yeah, wood. Not anymore, they don't. Um, you would think they put something over here. Well, that's why I'm exploring it. Oh, hello. Oh, there's something over here. What's this body have? A blue white wooden shield. I thought it was something else. And okay. Well, time to explore the middles. Whatever's left of it. That guy just tried crouching my attack. Man, that is deadly magic when it hits. Oh, there's another one of those big guys in the vehicle thing. I'm gonna go and try to stealth kill him from the back real quick. Hehe. <laughs> uh oh. That did not do jack to him. Shit. No, 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 no. 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 Definitely. I was expecting that backstab to do a lot more, but it didn't. Kid, okay. Okay, so that's the stairs we came up. That, I'm assuming we can't go inside the buildings, right? Uh, not unless there's an opening. No lie, I thought it was gonna be like a lot more shit in here. Yeah, a lot of these places had to be empty, unfortunately. I don't think you can get through this door yet. I think you need a key item. Needing place map. I don't know what that is. 
Yeah, you get like little maps that'll tell you to go to a spot. And I think you need a key for this. Alright. And then I guess it's... Um, off to the cave I found. So we're gonna have to go back down now. It's in the water. Or... It's past that gate, but seeing as it's found below, it's not going to be up here. <sighs> yeah, that's a shame. There's like nothing here, except, wow, there's a dude left. an item in the end? Go ahead and look. A glidstone firefly. Yay. Hey, bro, it went from looking like a Resident Evil village and looking to like the last of us. Maybe you want that. Yeah. Okay, that would be fun, a medieval style zombie game. Be interesting. Okay, do you think Dark Souls will be considered a zombie game? Eh, hey, not necessarily. I mean, it's got a bunch of undead in it, I guess. In some regard. But not in the same vein as Left 4 Dead or Dead Rising or Resident Deep 1. Because a lot of people like to lump Bloodborne into the horror category. Just well, because it's... Really it, just because it has... Well, it's the gothic architecture, the... You know what I mean? Like... it's It's got that Lovecraftian vibe, but it... Even to me... And it's all dark. But to me, that's not really horror. Like, yeah, you can play it for October or, you know, whatever. If you have, like, a thing like I did where I was streaming horror games in October... But, like, I don't count Bloodborne in that respect. It's not the same vein as a horror game. It, it, it's just... Hey, we're going backwards, my bad. The way I wanted to go was full. Um, but, yeah, no, it's... You got undead monsters and beings in here, but it's not the same vein. This game is more serious and action-y than it is horror. Because <laughs> this game is even goofy when it wants to be. So even Dark Souls doesn't necessarily take itself seriously. Which is kind of funny. Where did I find this cave? Because I know it was on the other... I it wasn't up there because I didn't even go up there. I don't even remember how I found it. It's on my map, but I just... the oh, fuck. I don't remember exploring in here, did we? nothing <laughs> oh there's a chest hello how do you get that huh how do you get that do you have to be on your horse i can see you would come up here on your horse and double jump off but there is your you there's gideon so yeah you would come up to this roof and you just get on your horse and you would like i think double jump to get to that, I don't see any other way of doing it. Yeah. What the fuck? You... <laughs> Come on, there's no way in hell you didn't see us just now, Gideon. I know you saw us. Something's not right here. Something ain't right here. He didn't attack whatsoever. He had a perfect opportunity to hit me long before you got into the picture. Something wasn't right. There. There's no way in hell he's a good player. Come on. Sometimes you could just tell when somebody's bad. I'm pretty bad at these, at PvP, but if you're worse than me, something's not. Yeah. 
Oh, fuck me. Not these things. I don't like these things. Fucking giant walking Iron Maidens. Careful, they actually can grab. Yep. Yeah, they, they, uh-oh, uh-oh, no, 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 back up, just run, dude. Oh, fuck that attack. Didn't even give me a chance to dodge that, now did you? Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, oh, motherfucker! Fuck you, dude. I do not like you. You are not worth killing. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. This is actually technically the way towards it. Uh, I just want to get you that cave so we can see. Fuck everything else. And then we can further explore. Hmm. Spoopy dude on a horse. Yes, I don't remember you guys being over here, but all right. And there's a lot of you, now. this way. What's up here? I just... Okay. Because it's... We're coming upon it. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't mean to gesture. Oh, yeah. I also forgot. This is not on me, so I can't see for shit. There we go. We're in a corner? What the hell? Okay. Uh, okay. He's got the jellyfish shield. I just saw the guy you saw. <laughs> Door ahead? Huh? Okay. I guess it wasn't in this spot at all. I guess it was on the completely in the water. On the outer edge. Somewhere. What the fuck? I thought it would have been up here. But no. Mm. Well, whatever. We can explore it. You found it? No, I said whatever. We can explore this section. No, it's somewhere down there still. Talking about this section. Somehow. Oh my fucking god! Oh 
Oh my god, you bell ringing dudes! Come on! Dude! Ah, just stop. Can this stupid thing stop being walled? Like, I just want to get... Damn it, to the outer rim of this damn spot, but it keeps being walled off. I love that I said we were coming upon it, and then never have. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Cramped area, sure. No reason for that, but alright. I hear one. Where is it? Unfortunately, don't know because there's nothing above me. There it is. Oh no, okay. They're the blue scarabs, but here's your cave. Oh. Alright, bro. Actually, did you already have the bonfire inside? Yup. Alright, I shall wait for you inside. Wait, is this straight to a boss fight? No. No, it'll disappear. Your fogged gate, because it's... That holds a boss separate to the where we're at. Remember how Dark Souls does that? Is okay. it divides areas up by bosses. So the reason why you couldn't go into that cave is because that cave is a separated area from what we're doing right now. It has its own boss, if that makes sense. So once we do the cave, we will no longer be able to summon within the cave. The only reason why this feels probably much smoother is because it's a big open world and it's got loose bosses that you could just randomly encounter. Alright, my sign is going down. Alright, so I've got to use the thing around me again, or is it still good? It should be good. Yeah, it's still good. Oof. Here. That's the entrance. Good. Okay. okay. Ah, why? Just, just stop that. Ooh. 
I think I know what cave we're in. One of them at least. Could be wrong. I do not want to fight stupid crystal fucks, but they shouldn't be a problem with the two of us. I believe this was the cave that I was getting my ass kicked in early on solo. Actually, no. Never mind. This ain't. I don't think this is the same game. I don't remember mages in this one, but what else? Then again, there is multiple versions of that crystal fight that I'm referring to, so. Might be one of them, I don't know. Ow, my face. Fuck you and your double headed hat. Mm. I think Alexander is in there. Nope. Never mind. There was hey, I think there is a spot in one of these caves you could find him in here though. in here. Ow! Ow! Fuck you, man. Hey, Draco, how are you today? I'm doing well, man. I hope you're doing well. Everyone arc. Useless. But it's one of the variances where you only fight two of them instead of three. They're also blue. Not purple. And they do a lot of damage when you're fighting multiple at once. Oh, yeah. They, that's because you gotta break them. The reason why they're tanky is because you gotta break them. Boy. Uh, okay, you. See, he was the worst. That one, the spear dude is the worst. Because when I was fighting them solo, I had to fight the one that shoots magic like, like the one I'm fighting, the one that shoot that dances around the one you're fighting, and then there was another one that has a ring. And he was the absolute worst, the one that you're dealing with. Because he kept bouncing me and poking me in the butt. Every fucking time. Once you break them, it's over. I'm just smoking. Nice. I ran out, but nice. Alright, got a, a crystal relief. And what's over here? Massive damage. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, pretty shitty once you break their defense. Oh, the man. Pick me up. Nice. Because when I fought 
them by myself, all three of them, early on, I barely was able to do anything. I would hit them once, and I'd be lucky. I'd be lucky to even crack them if I, if, during that fight, because all three would be just pestering me. I literally had to go down there at the end of the game and wait till I was overpowered and just tank them. Bro, it brought me to a. Uh... It brought me inside the city to uh, the very top. We'll have to focus that once we get there. That yeah, probably that. If there's a grace close by here, not not go back down. Yeah, that's probably how you enter that city. Another way into the city. Oh, there's a chest. Either that, or it just leads you to stuff. It shouldn't lead you to anything mandatory. It should just be all dead ends. But I could be wrong. Uh, it looks like it is all dead ends, cause uh, it looks like whatever there's a ladder I climbed up, it led to a chest where they could do magic spell on it. Ah, uh, okay. But it looks like anything else, if I try dropping off, it just uh, that. Yeah, most of the time that just leads to dead ends, cause that's just optional. Yeah, cause yeah, if I drop anywhere else, I'm just gonna die. Yeah. And then we go back down there and teleport to the beginning. Boy. Could go for some, but I'm fresh drying. I am back here. I shall drop my sign by the uh, bonfire. Alrighty. And uh, while I drop it, I'm going to go upstairs and take a. Oh, wrong one. Uh, hold up. Inventory. Alright, I'm dropping my sign. Give me a quick moment. I'm going to quickly go upstairs and take a quick piss. I'll be right back. Alright. I also don't like, I also like, love it when none of my dealers answer me right away, and I'm just sitting there like, where are you at? I don't need it, but with my anxiety, it makes me panic and freak out. So it makes it feel like my fiend for weed is much worse than it is, but I just have massive anxiety. And that's why I smoke constantly with tobacco and the weed relaxes me. Even if I'm out of weed right now, the tobacco is just, it relaxes me. Worse on my throat and lungs, but it's, stress is a pain. My guy must be out for something. And then again, it is a holiday weekend or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. So I've just been scraping whatever's on my freaking my table, my bowl, my Grinders, anything that I can get a little, a little hit off of, just to relax, make use out of all of what I've bought. My grinder is bone dry. Even the keef in here is ungettable. I like very little of that in here, and that's even ungettable because it's so little amount that it wouldn't even do anything. Am 
my other grinder is bone dry as well. I haven't touched this grinder in you in months just because its screen is atrocious. Its screen, I can literally take the bottom half off and boop. There's the screen that that collects all your weed. I can put it back in, but it never stays. So. Now it's just collectible. And now I got this nicer one that has a removable tray, as well as, of course, the removable screen and bottom. But it just makes it so much nicer because the thing is separated. The only problem I have with this is, is it collects in the grooves. So I gotta clean that. Sometimes my grinder sticks. That's big. Yeah, it's a big grinder. This one is the, isn't a four star ball though. So I went out and bought another grinder for the four star ball, just because they missed out on that opportunity. I mean, you can't sit there and talk Dragon Ball and sell a grinder that isn't, you know, the four star ball. Come on. Yeah. That's like trying to that's like trying to give out merchandise and give and instead of Goku you're giving out people like Piccolo or something. While I Piccolo, Vegeta and them are popular too, but it's when you think of Dragon Ball you think of Goku. When you think of Batman, you think of Batman. You don't think of or that or Joker maybe, but you don't there's there's a lot of shows or stuff that you when you pop in that name in your head, you think of that character immediately. So when you think of Dragon Ball, you think of Goku with his four-star ball. Nothing more, nothing less. So when they sell merch that isn't that, and I get they have one for probably every single star ball, but the main one should have been the four-star ball. And it was... It, it, I didn't realize that until well after I bought it. I'm like, that's a missed opportunity. Like, I even have a piggy bank behind me that's the dragon. Shenlong. Like... So many, so many awesome Dragon Ball related shit that I have. I have that, I have the Dragon Balls, I have a bunch of figurines and such. But I think I have pretty much everything that Dragon Ball can sell me that's like Goku related. Every figure I get from a game is Goku. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the piggy bank's nice, actually. Get better looks at my Dragon Ball grind. Oh. oh, excuse me. I feel... Oh, that corn is starting to get into my system. It's not, not what I meant to do. I even had a custom LED light for my controller well a custom LED cover for my controller this is the other one they sent me it says Dragon Ball Z it goes on my PS4 controller's LED light and it just lights up it is cool but man, the thing was a pain in the ass to put on. In fact, I don't even think... I don't even know if this is still good anymore. Or if this is even anything or if it's just cardboard. Because I don't feel anything. Yeah, it looks like just straight up cardboard. Weird. 
Because there's no thing to rip back. Well, that's useless. That's been sitting on my desk for months. It's so fucking dirty. <laughs> Let me see. Does my old controller still have them? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I didn't think so. Okay. It's not legible very well, but my other controller, I tried to put it on there and it failed miserably. But here's the one that it is on. Okay, there we go. But you could see where part of the, the black lettering came out. So it all just blends, but when lit up, it looks really cool. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy how much PS4 allows customization. It is. It's It was well put on, actually. Aside from part of the black, the black lettering in between... When I pulled off, that pulled away. But other than that, yeah, it went on very clean. Like, skins are very hard to put on. For instance, this skin right here is another one that was really hard to put on. Because I'm very anal when it comes to lining everything up. And I had to just keep going over and over. The cool thing about the skins, though, is you could just go online and put in a picture of whatever you want and line it up onto the the you know the thin the, the the plate for all your whatever the lot you just got to line up the images for the template and you just they send it right to you and it looks good it's not blurry or anything nice my beloved Elden ring yeah hell yeah and the picture is not blurred or anything it, it looks fantastic i even have my consoles decked out and it's called skin it i think the website i went to how you doing, Grandpa Schwitzer? I hope you're doing well. I see you're back. <laughs> yeah. I think the website is called Skin It, I believe. You can just take a picture of whatever you want, line it up in the template, order it, and they'll send it to you. And you can literally do whatever you want. You can do a picture of you and your your significant other, your kid, favorite TV show, characters, a person's face. I don't know why I'm going backwards. I'm fine. I hope you too. I'm doing fantastic. Just, I just relaxed the past couple days. It's been tired. But other than that, I've been good. Day's been good. It's been nice. It's been chill. Just ran out of weed, but other than that, I'm doing good. I'm hoping to murder some, some, some nasty people. Some bosses. Get the fuck out of here. I am checking that out. Hell yeah. Yeah, if you guys want some awesome uh, layouts for your consoles or controllers or whatever electronics, such as your phone or whatever, yeah, it's it's worth it and it looks good. Just make sure your shit's nice and clean, though, because it is a sticker. It's basically just putting a decal on your con on your console. It's literally what it is. So you want to make sure your shit's nice and cleaned. Um, and then after that, I just don't really care because sweat and germs from your hand is gonna get all up in that shit. My controller's covered in dirt and dust and grime from over the years. That it's just. It,
so where we came in from. Okay. So understand that some good, good old wear and tear, yeah. Oh yeah, my oh my PS4 controllers themed skins are kind of rubbing off a bit from all the sweat and dirt. Yeah, it's got tobacco and dust all up in it. Kinda of forgot about you. Up to me. Hop. Hop. Ow. Don't shank me, bro. I'm trying to roll. Fuck you, you dumb crystal fuck. You wanna go? You wanna go? <laughs> Did I just love stun locking this fucker to death? It feels so damn good! Get out of here! From all the stress they've given me in my first playthrough. Fuck you guys. They got destroyed. Not those two specifically. I mean, yes, it was those two specifically, but it was a it was a 3v1 fight with three of them. All different ones, though. Ugh. And that specific one that I killed, the pike dude, he would just poke me in the ass all damn day. You can go watch it. I forgot what parts of that episode, or what's, what parts of that it was, but it was early on in the series. It makes sense. I probably have, like, over a hundred-something episodes of this damn game. Still not as still Elden Ring still is not my longest series though. I'm gonna tell you that right now. PSO and Monster right, Hunter I, are. I shall wait for you outside the cave. Alrighty. It's going well, Sour Punch. How are you doing? Yeah. I don't think anything is gonna take the place of PSO and Monster Hunter World in terms of how long I've done a series for. Terra Magica! Magica! Magica. But yeah, my day's going fantastic, man. I hope you're doing well, Sour Punch. I hope you're kicking ass. That, that poop beetle gave me mushrooms. Huh. My sign's down outside the gate. That, that beetle gave me some mushrooms. I'm afraid to try them. I wonder if it'll make me run around like an idiot rolling a ball of poop. Your okay, so we just need to explore the rest of this outer edge, 
get to the other outer edge where the converted tower and the tree were, and then we can try to get you the foot of the four belfries. We can probably, if we can get there, because there is a map shard next to that area near it, and then we got all of that land on the right half of this to explore. All right. I'm not sure how many more caves are located here, but I guarantee you on the right-hand side of the water, there's probably some. So there's probably at least three or four more caves to explore. Oko Der Delrin Ring? Did I? I'm sorry if I butchered that. Shameless. <laughs> uh. All right, well, this fucker's about to get his ass whooped. Listen, bitch. I'm not I scared love... of your thick ass. I love that I hear it, but I'm not well, seeing shit. it. I should be scared of his thick ass. I gotta probably refresh some of these pages then, don't I? I just don't watch a lot of things, so there's a lot of that I don't get references to. I don't understand why alerts are such a huge issue. I never understand it either. It never did this to me. I, like, I went months without ever touching this. And now they're breaking. Horrendously. Like, I don't even know that my own... I don't know that my own have ever broken. Mine, mine break here and there, but it was never this bad. Like, I've sat, I've had this sit for months and never touched it, and it worked up until recently. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know why it's a huge problem for me. I stick with one because it's just comfortable. I don't care what's better or what's worse. Like, swapping over to a new one is just making me have to wor learn that one and then get comfortable with that one. I'm happy with Streamlabs. Like, that's why I still use OBS. That's why I don't use hotkeys for OBS. Like, I do all of my stuff, all of my things in OBS by hand. So, like, boom, by hand. Discord, by hand. All of that, by hand. All my commands are by hand. I don't have... I don't have anything to do... Like, yeah, I just... I don't... I don't know. It's just comfortable for me to take... If something takes longer for me to do, fine. As long as it's comfortable. I'd rather walk an entire 20 miles to get somewhere... If I know how to get there versus a mile. Because the 20 miles is more comfortable to me. If that makes sense. If it's more comfortable, I'm taking the long way. I do a few minor hotkeys. Yeah, I don't want to do hotkeys. Because then I'm going to end up starting my stream when I don't want to. I'm going to end up muting something when I don't want to. I It's not even a problem for me. Because it's on my screen. The whole time. And my PC isn't doing anything. My PC is just streaming it. So. And I feel like it's stupid to have a second PC to do that. My opinion. Like, I'm not going to go out and buy a second PC or a second laptop to do... Aside from OBS not wanting to probably load my USB camera, sometimes it's been nice. Ooh, same, I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't have the room either. I don't have the room. But yeah, no. My biggest issue with OBS is when I click properties for a thing, such as Elgato or my webcam, it freezes. My mic has issues being detected sometimes. My alerts and my shit on screen keep breaking. 
stuff like that. But yeah, I just, unfortunately, I just don't really have the room for a, a fancier setup. Like, yeah, you swapped over when you got your computer set up. I hope, I hope it's been nicer for you, chocolate chip. There's my cluttered ass desk, guys. I have no space for a computer. That's my window. My room is tiny. There's my closet. There's literally all the space that I have. There's my window, my closet, my entrance, my bed is over there. Like, I have no... <laughs> I bought my monitor just so I can have a monitor to play my game off of and my computer to read. So I originally did all of that in one monitor. My sign's back down, sorry. I did all that... With I did that with all with one monitor at one point when I had one computer and then I would have a TV that was like all the way over there. That's my bookshelf. I used to have a TV that was all the way over there and I would sit there facing that way and it was just uncomfortable. So then after that, I swapped and got my monitor that's on my desk right now and that's how I'm reading. I read chat off my computer here and I play off the monitor there. And if it's vice versa, if I'm streaming off the computer, I'll do that all off one screen. And then I'll have my second screen up as a dual screen connecting through my HDMI. And I'll just transfer things over to that. Like if I'm using a browser, I'll have my monitor for my browsing. And then my computer will have my streaming and my screen up. And that's how I read everything. Now all my vintage audio gear is a showcase on my desktop. And the main DSLR is to focus my desk for audio gear. Base cam is just well lit Logitech. Nice. Yeah, mine's the same thing. Logitech. I also have a ring light. Oh, is that the one for the girls who used to make porn also with? Yes. Yeah, I have an Elgato ring light because my green screen breaks. If I were to use my base light in my room, which is just a lamp. I don't even have a lamp. I don't even have a light on my ceiling meaning you know like it would cover the whole middle of the room so i just have a basic bitch lamp that has two lights and my elgato light so without that elgato light all i had was two lamps to light up my room enough and you would see my green screen breaking so i just said fuck it i bought a 200 hundred dollar lamp that connects to the bottom of my desk and it's been much nicer i can i can change the color or uh, yeah i can change the color of it I can dim it, I can brighten it, dim it. I can even change the color of it. That is money. Yeah, mine, mine's not even that big, and it was $200. How expensive can those lights get? Depends. Mine was $200. They, if you're going for more professional, they could probably be several hundred to a thousand depending on how big they are. Mine is not even that big. It's one that stand that's it's one that connects to whatever. Mine's connected to a desk. It has a like a hook arm that connects to my desk. But that was $200 alone. Cuz it comes with the light and a stand, a base stand. So like if you're talking bigger than that, they're going to be several hundred dollars more. Cuz you should get properly diffused lamps. Yeah, it can be very expensive. Especially if you're doing any big projects with them. Like movie filming, that kind of stuff. It's going to get costly. Like, I see a lot of YouTubers who are very good at, you know, doing their work with their editing and all that. And it's just like, good God, how much money do you spend? <laughs> I guarantee you, I spent several grand on my setup alone. And I... I, I'm an avid YouTuber at most, or I was. I only, I barely edited, and it was a cheap Shinsy editor, Camtasia. I didn't pay for it. I just, I, I don't know. Like, 
it was fun, but I don't see... I never once thought I was going to make a massive killing off YouTube, so I didn't invest too much into it. Oh, shit, dragon, 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 dragon. Yeah, I didn't even notice until he woke up. Whoa! Oh, I... mm, that is my head. Smack that wing. Uh-oh. 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 20 ring lights. Mountain. Wow. $20 ring light? Nice. Ah. Uh... <laughs> my fucking god! I did not know he was here. Oh. Dick of a Dargan. Yes. Good job. Fuck going for the face. trying to learn what you were doing there, you jerkass! I hurt like a motherfucker, you bit me in the ass! As much as I like it, it's consent first. Don't just bite my butt. Or burn me to death! Bitch! <laughs> that was a near one-shot! Dude, man, that dude can kill me in two hits with his fire attack, if I'm lucky. That dude can kill me in one hit. Because his fire technically hits multiple times. So, follow with what you will, but that dragon smoked me. Harder, harder than my ribs. Because I have ribs. <laughs> Still going, huh? Yeah. Fuck I dragons! Too, but he just like knocked me like nothing. Yeah, I did not even see him till he was already awake. <laughs> hmm. Uh, wow. Ow. I've been drinking water on and off this entire stream. Am I that skinny and that that dried out here? I've not been wrinkled. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Am I, am I that ugly? Since when? I feel fine. Uh, Am I? But I, I feel fine. I don't... I'm dead. Oh, that sucks. I don't feel any different, but okay. Thank you for the lurk, Angel. Jesus Christ, man. Who is delirious? Who are we talking about? <laughs> All right, well. Dude, I rarely eat and drink. Well, I rarely eat or drink. I don't need that. Uh, I just want to live my life. All that is just too much effort. 
do I photosynthesize? No, because I'm a human being. I don't intake sunlight whatsoever, in fact. Actually, I'm one of those people that despises the sun. So, if possible, I would rather be outside of it. But no, I'm not. Yeah, why? I'm very confused. Why are you asking this? It's my fault. I take a lot of things seriously. I, I'm somewhere near the cave. I don't know where you are. I'm still here by the cave. I guess I'll go closer to it. Nothing I say can be taken seriously. I mean, you guys can say the goofiest things, and I'll take literally everything serious, because that's just who I am. I see your sign. I'm just naturally serious. That's why a lot of people fuck with me. But I can't not be myself, so... People are just making me more annoying and more... Sh shut in as a result I don't know I'm already soft and pansy as is so I might as well be a marshmallow oh uh bro hmm? once the DLC comes out for other are we going to do that I think it might come out while we're still playing this. <laughs> Probably not. Unless we're in the midst of it somewhere and I can figure out what activates it. Hmm. As long as it's just the marshmallow and the graham cracker, I'm fine with that. I don't really care for too much chocolate, and I hate dark chocolate. S'mores are good, but it's just the chocolate. I just, I don't like too much chocolate, unless it's peanut butter. With peanut butter. Like, Butterfingers. One of my favorite candy bars. Paydays is another one, but that doesn't have chocolate. That's just... Actually, um, Brett, there is a version of Payday that has a chocolate coating on it. Holy shit, Mercer! <sighs> Can I talk for once without getting corrected, please? I didn't see it as correcting. I was just informing you. You, yes, informing. You corrected me. At least in New York there is. I'm not sure if there's... No, there you are. But I wasn't talking about that shit. Like I said, I don't like that much chocolate. Uh, do you like Reese's Pieces? They're alright. I like Three Musketeers. I like chocolate. I love chocolate. A lot. Ew. Ew. Mercer, how have you been? Blah. Just waiting for Evil Within 1 to download. Oh, that's so oh. gross. I like mint with my chocolate, though. Mint's fine. Musketeers is disgusting. They used to have a mint version. Ew. Ew. Or it was basically just a chocolate with uh, a white mint inside, like a peppermint patty. Don't even compare that to a peppermint patty. One is good, one is garbage. You can't compare a Three Musketeer to something good. Like the dark chocolate Milky Way bar. Oh. <laughs> oh, dark chocolate sucks. And milk chocolate sucks. I'm sorry, I just don't I don't like I just never like chocolate. 
that much. Like, eating too much of something will make me sick. I know that does that to a lot of people, but I have a very sensitive stomach. So if I smell something, if I taste something, if I if something I don't like it, like the other like a few months back I had a Chick-fil-A sandwich with pickle juice on it. I never once bothered to take off the or I never once bothered to ask them to not put pickles on it. Out of nowhere it almost made me puke my brains out. I don't know why, but I don't like pickles now. What are you what are your thoughts on white chocolate? Hate it. I'm not don't a chocolate mind. guy. I'm not a chocolate guy, dude. Don't mind white chocolate, brown chocolate. I just hate black chocolate. Yeah, dark chocolate. I'm not a fan of dark chocolate at all. I like... I just like peanut butter and chocolate. Just like, uh, uh, Mercer. I like that Herky, Herky bar that's still white chocolate. Oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. So, not my thing. There's this... There's this candy bar here in New York. I don't think it's anywhere else. It's called the Zero Bar. And it's wrapped in a gray wrapper. And it is all white chocolate with nuts and the nougat shit in the center of it. That's in a few musketeers. Oh, I hate that. <clears throat> See, caramel's good, but it's... You can't... Too much caramel where it's gooing out of it is gross to me. I don't mind peanut. I don't mind payday, with a mix of caramel. But when you have what? I had my sign dropped. <laughs> oh, Ave. Like I'm just eating some of my dinner and it's making me sick. It's because I don't eat a lot. And I can't eat a lot. I eat like one thing and I feel like I'm pregnant. There it is. Are you touching your sign? Mm. It's all being intriguing uh, once we start doing a uh, fucking monster hunter. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, monster hunter should be great. Oh man! I was like, I was like, bro, once we're done with world, I'm gonna jump right into uh. Rise if you want. If you want. We don't have to. Because that one's on the PS5, right? I don't think so. I mean, it's PS4, so yes. But I don't think they have a PS5 version. I could be wrong. I guess we'll find out we get closer. Because I think we're going to be a uh, good while on world. So I, I figured we're going to tackle what? The Brother story and then the... Uh, Iceborne, the yeah. Well, and Monster Hunter just has endless amount of shit, man. You can just farm all day in that shit. <laughs> There's not very many games that I find more fun than... A good turn-based action RPG or a good... Or a turn-based RPG or a good action RPG. And Monster Hunter is probably one of my favorites. Hello, bro, let me see where my souls are. I uh, see where did I die. Sorry. Yeah, I see uh, you dragging. You're sleeping over there. Did I die over here? Yeah, yeah, I see my shit. As long as we can avoid him for now. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he, yeah. He, he is not too bad. He's not too bad. I just have an easier time doing it on a horse. I saw him moving at the <laughs> Alright. Uh oh. That's the sound I heard. He's behind us, by the way. Yeah. Fred, be careful. You're close by the dragon. 
Is he? Where? I don't yeah, see. The, I don't the, see the dragon, the dragon at all. Is, is right behind the rock. Well, there it is. <laughs> there he is. Ah! You got. You got balls. He looks like the guy that the rock plays in uh, that one Disney movie. Oh, you lucky son of a bitch! Ah. <laughs> he was banking on me smacking, too! Ow! That's why I hate spears. Because they don't look like they hit me. Fuck you, bro! <laughs> I got you on the hit, though! I don't care! I'm taking it! Come on. Yes! Ah, oh, no! Oh, he got you with the madness. What is madness? I don't know. Don't know and don't care. Alright, going back outside the cave. God, my head hurts like a dick. That's disgusting. That is too much Coca-Cola. That's disgusting. A tub of Coca-Cola instead of one of those tubs of water. Ugh. I'm sorry. Soda does not deserve to be drank out of anything other than an aluminum can. It's not that bad if you're drinking it from a glass bottle. I don't like soda out of anything but an aluminum can. Yeah. I don't even like drinking water or anything out of a cup. I like it what... I like the bottles that they're contained in. I just think the containers change the taste too much. The worst is cup, like paper cups, bottles, and taking something that's in a plastic bottle and putting that in aluminum. Like, I prefer soda in a can versus a bottle. Let's say that. I just think it changes the taste way too much. Is that a great supplement? Yes, it is. Oh, do I already have this one? No, oh, you yeah. don't, nor do I. I can tell because the way the, the, the swirling lines were when you first get it. You could see the glowing lines. I can tell that that was new for both of us. All right, so... Okay, that's right here, then. Cool. Temple Quarter. Oh, there's that flower thing again. Eh, not a big deal. Ow. Ow. I saw a joint. He also does a head bomb, so be careful. Oh. Yeah, well, there you go. Orgasm. I don't want your green cum all over me. I'm already green. And uh, before we fight Rom, the vacuous spider. <clears throat> oh, 
praise the poop! Bitch! You teleporting little bastard. Why'd you hear him? Oh, I, yeah. I mean, I would expect so. He's gonna teleport somewhere nearby. Aha! I found him. Fuck. Teleported. Alright, where the hell did you teleport to, motherfucker? Probably back up there. Oh, I see him. What the hell? Um What happened? Do you not hear do you not hear the music swelling? Okay, it's gone. I was wondering oh, far back to where he was. Yeah, he's gonna only bounce around a couple of times. He should only bounce around a few times. Or a few spots. You get him? I, I hear him but uh because he wasn't, he wasn't oh, in he's, his... He's, down, he's uh, over here. Yeah, down he was, ground. yeah. Well, he wasn't for me. Because, no, his second spot is on the ground. Yeah, you're, you're close to him. Was. Damn it, I had the All wrong right. side. Stay there, stay there. Uh, we teleported. Damn it! Yes, I missed him. He's either going to go back up there, a third spot, or over here. Got him. Nice. I threw a knife at him. <laughs> that's right, I forgot that that's how I did it. <laughs> Throw knives at them before they are aggroed. <laughs> Alright, uh, where are you at, Breath? Like, I'm going you? Uh, the other side of the stairs? Yeah, I'm still on top of this little island. So let me see. I'm on the side of it. There you are. I'm down here. I see. All right. So, if you look at your map, you don't have them, but there's a grace coming up. A, there's going to be a tower coming up, and then on the path, on the brown part, you're going to see part of a road. And if you oh, head up oh, a little yeah. bit... Huh? Before we do that, that's up to the cave I found. Oh shit, that's right. Your cave. Yeah, go ahead. There, I marked it on the map. Punch bowl! Uh, we went through it. Yeah. That's right, I forgot that we both found a cave. Characters reminding me a lot of Gale from Dark Souls 3 for some reason. Really? It's the armor, the old armor, and the freaking cape. Because I figure since we're, you know, uh, going to suffer areas, I need better armor. And I remember when the guy dropped, when he uh, first found the church, the guy dropped my his uh, the gauntlet. And yeah. it was so much more better than what I was wearing from that one night from the beginning area. Yeah, well, here's a grace, apparently, that you never got. Where? Oh, I didn't even notice this one. I didn't either. <laughs> I ran right past it, I think. Because I went from the converted tower, the minor Erd tree, all the way up to the other... This is not the bonfire that I mentioned that that yeah. I have. This is a different one. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh. An yeah, he's right here. Edgar the Revenger, eh? Well, goodbye, Edgar. Yeah, you're an NPC, all right. Oh, he hits like a truck. But he's an NPC, all right. You can tell the massive difference in his AI. No, no player that is good would have let them get stuck in a fucking rock like that. Oh, I got a banished knight helper plus eight. Oh, jeez. No wonder that. Sh no wonder that shit hit like a truck. He's hitting me with a level eight weapon. <laughs> Motherfucker.
That and my armor is probably not great. But what do I care? I beat these games in little to no armor anyway. Even though it's a plus eight, it's a lot weaker than the Grace Heart I'm using. It's a it also plus eighty one. Yeah, it all it's gonna be dependent on what you're leveling in terms of your stats as well, but also like you're using a weapon class that's vastly stronger anyway. So even if you boost that weapon up and level up enough to where its stats are stronger, your greatsword's going to surpass that anyway. Yeah, because, uh, let's see, I guess we got to find a way around. And that's the thing, though. That's just a greatsword with pure raw damage. You could easily add scaling to other scaling to it. I like to keep it physical, but... Physical. Mine's not like pure raw damage is bad too, just because it takes away scaling. But like pure physical damage is amazing. So I don't really care for elemental. Let's see if uh, hope this is the right way. Well, I can go light this thing for you. I think that might point to the cave actually. Jellyfish! The cool thing about the jellyfish shield is it buffs you. It buffs you, so it'll turn red. Oh, that's cool. cool. Yep. I think it might be through here, actually. Let me... Oh, yeah, bats. Sleepy bats! That bat is trying to use sonar on me. They are so cute, though. But they're... Uh... But they're... Uh... Why do all these gravestones look like penises? <laughs> Aha! Here it is. Uh, oi. Uh, uh mark it on your map, and I'll wait for you here. Got it. Time to cut myself out. I don't even know how I can make sense of that in the freaking game. I just cut the air and I'm gone. Yeah. I don't know. This... FromSoft tried to give lore reasons to why Dark Souls has co-op. The lands are kind of eh. So the timing, so time zones are warping in and out, and that's why you can see souls and phantoms of other people, and NPCs will mention shit like that. So they're trying to say like, oh, people from other worlds can go to other people's worlds. Yes, they gave a lore reason as to why souls have co-op. And when you talk to other NPCs, some mention that they don't feel like they're from that area or land or time zone. So it's just like, ugh. It's weird, but it makes sense. Yeah, because uh, first of all, I was going to say, the only thing I'm disappointed with uh, Elden Ring is, since, you know, uh, the guy from Kingdom Thrones, like, what, co wrote this game? Yeah. I was expecting a whole bunch of cities. <coughs> but, no, so far, not enough cities. Ah. <laughs> uh. I was expecting the same amount of cities they saw in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Alright, so I got the Crystalline Woods Bonfire. Alright. I don't think you'll get evaded by the guy, because I don't think you gave the letter to him in the first area. Uh-uh. I haven't... I don't even know where any of these NPCs are, dude. Like I said, I'm not really focusing that. And I get it, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that is tied to that, and that's how all these souls has always been. Bosses, weapons, I, I items. I, I gave, I looked it up on, uh, on YouTube where he was. Mm -hmm. It was like, where he's at, we, we easily missed it. We were going around with Chocolate Chip and you and me. Yeah. In that one castle area. And, uh, fucking, I went back, found where he was, gave him the letter, went back to the blind girl to find out something killed her. And apparently he swore revenge at her corpse. And uh, when I looked up the rest of the video on YouTube where we were 